All right, let's keep this free agency discussion moving along. Let's go to, to spot 108 in the ADP. Jarek McKinnon set to no longer be a Viking. 108, maybe similar conversation to be had about him as we just had about Deion Lewis. You guys in, you out on, on Jarek McKinnon? I mean, I, I've never been a big McKinnon fan. I've used McKinnon in the last couple of years to make fun of some of those stat guys and those metric guys and stuff like that. But he, he definitely showed really – he obviously had his best year this year. And what was interesting, if you're looking at his, at his game log, you got the first four games when Dalvin Cook was there, he's got return yards. Dalvin Cook gets hurt. He doesn't return another kick in, the, in for the rest of the sure. year. So that the, you look at what happens as the season goes long goes on and – as a team need changes, they had uh, Dalvin Cook, this awesome young star who, the you know, not digress, but the combine told us he wasn't good at football last year. Um, but then weeks five through 12, he's double-digit carries. He's catching the ball all over the place, averaging like five catches a game, getting some touchdowns here and there. And you got the McKinnon people are just the, – the lifer McKinnon group comes to life and it comes back to life. And they just are in an uproar about how great this guy is. But then all of a sudden, uh, Latavius Murray looks just shiftier than he ever has in, and skinnier than he ever has in his entire life. So the weeks 13 through 17, McKinnon can't even get 10 carries in the game. But he's still catching balls. So there's a, another twist and turn of events through his season. But I think if you look at about an eight-game stretch, McKinnon's getting that 15 carries a game and five catches a game, which is what you would love to have on your fantasy football team right. each and every week. And I like the confidence in the young man. He said he'd rather be a featured back, so he doesn't want to stick around in, in Minnesota. Yeah. Because I mean, I, you know, it's a laughable statement, kind of, but he's only 205 pounds. But like, I like the confidence that he says that, and he knows with Dalvin Cook he's not going to be a featured back. He knows with Dalvin Cook as a rookie, you know, yeah. McKinnon had been on the team for a couple years Dalvin Cook shows up. McKinnon's an afterthought. He's just returning the returning kicks, and then Dalvin Cook goes down, and McKinnon comes in and plays very, very well for himself, and probably made himself a couple bucks, no doubt yeah, about it. Definitely made himself some money. Um, I don't think he's a featured back, but he is. He is hard to bring down at two oh five. He runs pretty physical for how he is, and and we all know the reason that everyone likes him is because how quick and fast he is, and he does have good hands. I think he could be a nice, you know, one two punch with somebody. And I, I don't I don't don't think I have as much of a problem paying for McKinnon here as I do for Dion Lewis I for whatever agree. reason. I agree. And I would I would have no problem, you know, trying to give uh like a, a higher end second round pick to to try to get McKinnon on my team moving forward into next season. Yeah, he is still only twenty five years old, which is pretty impressive. And he's got that ability to pop off big yeah. plays, and he's got a PPR for floor sure. for your pleasure. And he's, you know, I guess you could do a lot worse there at 108. Yeah, that's um, the last pick of the ninth round, so that's not yeah. a terrible investment he, for McKinnon. Just want to throw out there, he was on our cheap money list last year. So if you listen to us, you could have got in when he was super low, and now you got a guy almost in, in the eleventh round of a dynasty pick here. So yeah, that's yeah. what we're looking for. Well, that's what you're looking for the guys who you know, McKinnon was had, had hype. Didn't, didn't really perform at all coming into the year and went way down. <laughs> and then this is when you grab him. And maybe maybe if you did grab him at that point, maybe you're you're the guy who wants to ring the register. Absolutely. And, and that's fine, too. Well, those first couple games of the season, especially in the short bench leagues like the FFPC, McKinnon was on every every free agency waiver, wa waiver wire. And the guys that made the jump and picked him up when Dalvin Cook went away – that was a great eight-game stretch for him. And then you had to live through the the uh, aggravation of seeing La Latavius Murray come to life. And then those guys, Latavius Murray was on the free agency wire. Yeah. And then when he gets out there and starts looking looking good again, the people that were smart enough to pay up a couple bucks for Latavius had a running back going into the end of the year. So it was a tricky situation for the Vikings running backs this year. But McKinnon going forward, like you said, Jay Wayne, in that, that 108 average spot, um, and, and you too, Casey, I think I would be a lot more comfortable buying a, a, a McKinnon spot there than a Deion Lewis. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't think Deion's really going to be your featured guy anywhere, even though I like what Deion does as well. I think I think they're kind of both going to end up maybe in, in similar roles. What well, was that? I don't know what that was. But if you look at the – if you look at just the stat sheet, just be, like Deion Lewis put on more work – in a couple of games stretched than McKinnon did. McKinnon only, you know, he never got 20 carries. The, the, the Patriots loaded Deion Lewis up going into the end of the year. Uh, and so, I mean, again, 
Deion Lewis, I, I kind of hated on him just a few minutes ago. I'm not sure if he necessarily deserves any of that, and I don't know if Jarek McKinnon is uh, – We none of us here thinks that he's going to step in and be somebody's bell cow 25 carries a game. I don't believe you go from zero to 60 like that. But no. I think McKinnon, in this situation, whoever adds him, it'll be another situation that's very easy to always say, well, whoever pays him wants him the most. Where They had a plan for him. But I, I believe McKinnon – Made enough, and the Vikings have that turf. You know they're playing in the dome, and he looked really good this year in some spots. He looked really, really good. So, uh, you know, good for McKinnon. I probably necessarily wouldn't be drafting either one of those two guys here, but if I had to make a pick, I would go McKinnon over Lewis. Well, let's take a quick break. We'll be back. We'll go through to another uh, running back who's in a similar discussion. I'd like to put Isaiah Crowell up against the guys we just kind of talked about. Let's take a quick musical break for your pleasure, and we'll be back with more Mary to the game. <laughs> 